All right, Matt, we got one more. Uh, what do you say? 2020207. This one is a testament <coughs> to the Hay Hire Zoning Ordinance. Um, it has changed slightly from, from the packet that was passed out of the work session. I just walked through it, but the main thrust of the amendments are the same. This is to, again, the zoning ordinance, but uh, the portions that affect the development standards table and the front and rear yard setbacks, um, and also the language in their plan development section. The idea is to tighten up the language, get it a little closer to my office, and hopefully not have so many variance requests to setbacks like we've seen for the past couple of years. So just to walk through the changes quickly, if you look at page one, amendment one definitions, lot width, that's what we saw before. We're also making a little change to the definition for setback. Um, as you may recall, when we had these variances, front yard setbacks in Hayhara were measured from the street center line rather than the front property line like the rest of us do now. Uh, back 30 years ago, that was commonplace. So we're changing that finally in Ahara. So we had to start with the definitional change. Plan development, it is really to tighten up the language to make it a little similar to the Alastos. Ahara actually adopted their plan development regs in 2001. Valdosta uh, not until 2012, and Valdosta actually used Ahara as the model. And, but made some changes, so now we're retroactively going back to a higher. Um, but on the second page, if you look in the middle, one thing that's a little bit different, under 4-4.3 eligibility requirements, um, a higher used to have some large minimum sizes, much larger than Valdostas. So we're changing them back to the minimums to match Valdostas, half acre and one acre respectively, but also put a maximum size on the all residential PDs. Um, Ahara has gotten a few of those that were very large subdivisions as planned developments, which basically mimic R6 or more dense. Um, their city council has specifically requested no more of those. So we put a cap at 40 acres. And to give you a point of reference, the first PD in Ahara was all about heights. That's 35 acres. So the cap would be just above an all about. What did McNeil come out? Uh, McNeil is 65 acres but done in multiple phases, which means you could come through with phases of plan development at 40 acres or less and let each phase be approved separately. So it's still doable, you just consider smaller pieces of real estate at one time. Okay. Okay. And then beyond that, I think we get out of the plan development, we get into uh, Amendment 3, which is on the fourth page. This is locations of assessor buildings and how you deal with core lots. Again, we change the center line language to something else. And the, really the meat of it is the last page with this chart, which you almost see the magnifying glass to read. But you see all those little red numbers. Those were measurements from street center lines that were depending on what type of street it was. It's a very antiquated way of doing it. It really created some problems with some of the Hayhower properties, hence the variances the past couple of years. So we're basically wiping all that off and going to standard setbacks from property lines. These are similar to what is seen in Austin. Not perfectly identical, but very similar. Um, actually relaxing the standards off of the front and rear yards, like how Austin had done about 10 years ago. I think that felt pretty a lot. And that's all there is for the amendments. All right. Any questions? All right. Is there anyone in the audience tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? Seeing there is no one in the audience, except poor Gretchen back there. <laughs> is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? There being none, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Any discussion? There being none, I'll ask for a motion. Madam Chair, regarding HA 202207, text amendments to the City of Hayhara Zoning Ordinance, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. I'd recommend approval. Second. Seconded by everyone. All those in favor, oh, any discussion on that motion? All those in favor of the motion to approve? I don't know. All those against, the motion carries unanimously. Thank you, This has been a long time. Any other business? There being none. 
Thank you.